afternoon, everybody. We continue Wellness Wednesday with Craig from the UHNM, and he will be taking us through a cardiac rehab session. So over to you, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, guys. I hope everyone's well. I'm going to have a lot of good New Year. You haven't drank or eaten too much. Uh, we are going to be doing a bit of a live session. As in, I'm going to be doing some band work and some, uh, with some weights as well. But weights I'm going to use as bottles of water today, opposed to using actual weights because sometimes that's all the equipment that we've got. Um, if we've got band, brilliant. If we haven't, you know, just try and improvise as much as you can. Um, so, like I said, my name's Craig. I'm from the Royal Stoke UH&M. Uh, medically, I hope everyone's medically fit and well. If there is any medication change, just make sure that you're not just rushing into things before you know about your medication and if it's working properly. If you do have a GTN spray or you've been prescribed a GTN spray, make sure you've got it at hand just in case. I'm not envisaging anything uh, dramatic. We're not doing any burpees or anything like that, but it is always handy to have stuff like that. Uh, same as, well, uh, same as uh, an increase in shortness of breath. If you've had anything like that in the last few days, just uh, just be very mindful of what we're doing. And it's also fatigue, if you feel a bit more fatigued. Uh, and please, I hope if you uh, any patients out there, you are paying attention to your body weight. If you've got an increase of like one to two kilograms in one to two days, uh, that's also a sign that we should be contacting our nurses and stuff and going from there. So hopefully everyone's feeling fit and well and raring to go. If at any point during the session you want to have a sit down, majority of it we are going to be trying to sit down. I'm going to give options throughout, uh, but if you do need to have a sit down, have a sit down, keep your toes moving and see how you feel and, and uh, we'll go from there. Right then, that being said, I am going to take a seat for the warm up and we're going to warm up nice and gentle. So I'm going to do part of it sitting down, part of it standing up, part of it sitting down. Now, if you want to stay seated, please stay seated, okay? Remember, this is your training session. All I want is to just get heart rate raised a little bit and get a little bit of something out of this. So let's start. So let's start with some toe taps. Now, we're not going to keep to a certain rhythm, a certain beat or anything like that. We're just going to literally tap those toes out, tap them out, tap them out. Nice and steady. Now, it goes without saying, all the way through the exercises, please, please, please keep your stomach nice and tight. Make sure you're breathing nice and fluid. Normally, we mention about ventilation. So, we have got central heating on and things like that at the moment. Let's just make sure that we're not going to be too hot. I'm not saying open the windows because we'll all be freezing at the end of it. Right, now let's take, take, take these steps. Let's go to the side. So you're just stepping it out and you just go to where you're comfortable. So if you're only comfortable to there, then go to there. If you want to go a little bit wider, go a little bit wider. Remember, this is just your warp and a bit of an immobilization just to get you going. That's it. Brilliant. And we're going to come back into the center. Just tapping it out, tapping it out. Brilliant. And we're going to go into knee lifts now, okay? So lifting that leg, swapping each side. Nice and steady, stomach tight. Brilliant. Now, throughout the session, try, if you can, try to keep your toes moving throughout. I know it's difficult and sometimes I struggle when I'm doing stuff and I'm trying to concentrate. But always, always try and keep those toes moving if you can. Okay, so if you come down, let's roll those shoulders back. Let's warm up the top half a little bit more for me now. Fantastic. Let's roll them forward. Fantastic. A lot of us are working from home, so we're all slumped and working at tables, which aren't designed for us, so make sure we're having a good stretch out as well. And let's take the arms to the side, just up to the shoulder height and back down. Nice and smooth. Breathing nice and fluid throughout. Excellent. Brilliant. Now let's go to the front. Just taking it off. Bringing it back down. Keep that stomach nice and tight. I know we're sitting down. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to take a stand now, or you can stay seated. Depends on what you're going to do. Okay, so we're just going to go back into toe taps, okay? So we're just back into toe taps. There we go. Slide bending the supporting leg all the way through as well. So we're not locking our legs out. There we go. Now let's go take it to the side. 
just tap it out. And again, if you can only just do a little bit, just do a little bit. Remember, this is your workout. This isn't my workout. Okay? So you're going to get out of this what we put into this. Just nice and steady. Go to the side. Each time. Fantastic. Well done. And we're going to do 10 more of these. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. We're going to go to knee lifts. Okay? So just bringing each knee high as we can. And again, if you can only go to there, go to there. And then as it gets a little bit easier, just push a little bit more as we can. There we go. I wonder how many of you have had new Fitbits or new fitness equipment before it just being Christmas. I hope you're giving it a good workout. There we go. Let's go a little bit higher. Let's put a bit of the arms in it now. So we're doing a standing march. That's it, well done. We're going to do 10 more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Try and keep those toes moving. Let's go for some side raises. So we're just keeping it, just moving a little bit on the spot, bringing it up and taking it down. There we go. Let's do 10 more loops. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to the front. That's it. Just taking it up, bringing it down. Take it up. Bring it down. Make sure you're breathing nice and fluid. Well done. That's it. Tommy stays 10. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Feet at distance, reach down to one side and then to the other. Reach, reach, reach. Tommy tight, so we're not leaning over too much, we're kind of coming down each side. So we're keeping the arm close to the body each time. There we go. I don't know if you can hear the music that I've got on. This is my favourite remix. It's a good it's a good track, good CD. There we go. Let's do another 10 leaves, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna push forward, bring it back. Push forward, bring it back. Push back. It's nice and smooth. Coming back to where you feel comfortable. So if you're going out here and coming right back, if you've got any uh, any chest problems at all, just come back just so you're even, okay? So we're not coming right back, nice and steady, don't overstretch. Remember, this is just your warm this is just getting you ready for the exercise. Well done. We're going to do 10 of these, then we're going to take a seat, okay? So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Shake it back down to your seat. And we're still warming up, so we're sitting on the edge of the seat. I'm just going to go back into your toe taps, sitting down, okay? So the trick is with the warm-up, we don't rush it. We're not going to rush a warm-up, okay? So you can't make your heart go, yeah, I'm ready, I'm warm. It's got to be nice and smooth. Okay, let's go to the side. There we go, well done. Back to centre. Brilliant. And back to those knee lifts. That's it. Again, bring it up as high as you can. That's it.
Brilliant. We're going to do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, back to the side, raise it, take it up, bring it down, take it up, bring it down. There we go, well done. Ten of these, let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Front raises. So, we're nearly done with the warm up, we're going to start. So we're going to do five exercises with the water bottles or your weights, whichever you have at home. We'll do five exercises with the bands, okay? And then we'll do five body weight exercises. And what we'll do is we'll try and do these to time. So rather than doing 10 of these or 10 of these or 10 of that, what we'll do is we'll try and do around about 30 to 40 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds of each of these, okay? Just nice and steady. Let's do one more of these. There we go. Right, now, you try. Choices are you can stay seated for the, this part or we can stand up. It's entirely up to you. So I've got one of these 1.5 liters, okay? So I've got 1.5 liters. I'll do 1.5 kilograms in each hand, okay? So if you've got your weights, go for your weights. If you haven't got your weights, don't worry about it. So I'm going to stand. You can stay seated if you wish. And what we're going to do, we're going to go into a front raise, out to the side, and down, okay? So it's front. Out, down. At any point now, you can join in. That's it. That's it. Nice and smooth. So it's front, out, down. So the beauty of doing this is it's going to exercise all those shoulder muscles. It's also going to do the muscle behind those called the rotary cuff. So it's going to help with that. Nice and smooth. Any problems with your shoulders at all, just come to where you're comfortable, okay? So if that's where you're comfortable, work to your comfort zone, okay? Brilliant. Excellent. Still wiggling those toes, though, guys. Fantastic. And we're going to do another 20 seconds of this, okay? So 20, 19... 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. Okay, so we're going to do some sit to stand. Keep the weights in each hand, okay? And all you do is sit down and we stand up. Weight goes through the heels all the way through the moves, okay? You push into your toes, you come from your toes, chances are you're going to push into the knee as well. So just be very well aware of that. So weight always in the heels. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Down we go. Back up we go. And it's a nice, steady smooth. So if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, when you come down, just gently touch the ball and back up. So you're not actually resting. If you want to have a rest and then come back up, you can do it. But as long as those toes keep moving, I'm happy. There we go. Brilliant. This hat is not a fashion statement as well, by the way. It's just because the light bulb's right above me, and I'm bald. So uh, if I take the hat off, I just dazzle everybody. <laughs> That's it. Well done. And we've got 15 more seconds on this one. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one brilliant okay so pop one of the bottles down and we're only going to use one so what we're going to do we're going to do 30 seconds on one side 30 seconds on the other 30 seconds 30 seconds we're going to do a tricep extension okay so nice and smooth okay holding the bottle you bring it down and punch up bring it down and punch up so i advise everyone to be sitting down when we're doing this one are you ready in three Two, one, doesn't matter which arm we start with. That's it, nice and smooth. This is all for the back of the arm. Okay, so when we're reaching for something out of the cupboard, back to the arms have to work, triceps have to work, all your shoulders have to work. 10 more seconds, 10, 
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's switch it over. There we go. You ready? Take it down, back up. Now, at this point, if you can feel all water around the back of your neck, the lid's not on your bottle very tight, okay? So you might need to check. You're not just sweating at this point. There we go. Well done. Come on, keep going. 12 more seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. Swap it over. Okay? Back over. Pull the hands over here for support. If you don't need it there, that's fine. I'm going to start nice and smooth. Lower it down. Follow the spine. Kick up to the ceiling. Lower it down. Kick it up to the ceiling. There you go. Well done. Brilliant. One, 15 seconds left. Make sure breathing, stomach pulled in, and more importantly, smiling. Smiling is not an option, compulsion. Come on, five more seconds, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over. Shake the other one out. Are you ready? Last one. Off we go. Come on, well done, well done. Keep that tummy tight as well. Brilliant. Nearly there. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, that catches you, doesn't it? Right then. Both bottles in your hands. Now, if you can't do this part, don't worry about it. If you don't want to stay, if you don't want to stand up, stay seated. Okay, so the standing up move is, so from here, stomach tight, and we're just going to do your left leg to, uh, to start with, so it's just your left leg what we're going to use. So you step back, and do a bicep curl, and come back up, okay? Now, when it comes to this, if you can't go down as low as that, don't worry about it, just step back a little bit, and then back up. Step back a little bit, and then back up, okay? And at any point, you can sit down. And if you do sit down, what you're going to do is you're just going to stick with the bicep curls. Okay, so don't worry about it if you don't want to do the standing section. Are you ready? In three, two, left leg, one, go. Just your left leg, bringing it back. So stepping back to where you're comfortable. So again, if that's your comfort zone, stay in that comfort zone for now, okay? Don't overextend if you don't want to. But if you're comfy to do so, get down there. Front leg's doing the work on the way up, so the front leg's pushing up, we're coming back. Front leg push it up, and then coming back. There you go. Should have got some more of the bottles now, thinking about it. There we go, well done. Keep going. Nearly there. Fantastic. Come on, we've got 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Shake it out. Now we're going to swap it over, okay? So we're going to swap it over. We're going to alter what we do as well. So now we're going to be on stepping back with your right leg. But this time, as you come back, arms go out in front. Now again, if you're sitting, don't worry about it. Just go for your front range, okay? If you're only going to step back a little bit, step back a little bit. Remember, front leg's doing the one doing the work. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. So they're going up at the same time. You can step back a little bit if you wish. It's where you're comfortable, okay? As long as you're working, then we're happy. That's it. And then gradually... As you get 30, go further back, further back, further back. Remember, front leg's doing the work. Just coming up to halfway on this one. Brilliant. Come on, we can have a little drink after this. 
on 20 more seconds. Well done. 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. Take a seat and grab a drink. Toes stay moving though, guys, okay? So the toes are still moving. Right. So band work, okay? So again, you can do most of these sitting down if you want, or you can stand up and just push yourself a little bit more and sit down a bit later if you wish. We're going to start with side dips. So you're going to stand on. Now, when you're standing on a band, make sure that the band is in the center of the foot, okay? So it's always at the center of the foot. It's never to the front of your toes. If it's at the front of your toes, it could just squeeze, swang over and get you, okay? So... Feet a little bit further than hips distance apart, stomach tense, the bands have got to be tight at this point. So if you need to grab them a little bit lower, grab them a little bit lower. Tummy tight, one minute's worth, and we're going to go for side bends. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, so we're not bringing the other one up. Okay, we're just coming down, down. Tummy pulled in tight. Okay, so abs are a lazy muscle. If we don't engage them, then they don't work, or the muscles kick in instead. Okay, so you told me nice and tight. Is there someone going to drop something on your stomach? Well done. Excellent. So be tight again. That's it. Keep those abs pulled in. Fantastic. Just gone past halfway. And looking good. Come on, we're going to do 15 more seconds on this. Try and keep it going. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Brilliant. Shake it out. Right, now the band goes at the back. Okay, so bring the bands at the back and it comes underneath your armpits, okay? And from here we're going to shorten it up. So you want it quite tight when you're at that point, okay? So we all look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, and all we're going to do from here, nice and steady, you're going to punch out, bring it back. Punch out, bring it back. And again, you can stay seated if you want or you can stay standing, whichever's comfortable for you. As long as those toes are moving, guys, and we are smiling and we are happy. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Push out, bring it back. Push out, bring it back. That's it, well done. Abs are tight. Beauty of it being January, these bands are for sale pretty much anywhere. Most of the fitness equipment is sold in January. Excellent. We're just coming up to halfway, so we're just still punching it out, bringing it back. Punching it out, bringing it back. Slow and controlled, so we're not speeding it up. We've got a slight bend in those knees and toes are still being wiggled. That's it. Come on, 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out and sit yourselves down. Now, we're going to do a single leg press, okay? So, we're going to wrap the band around your right foot. Now, what we're going to do is this, okay? So, you go down, wrap it around each one. So, it's a double tie around your foot, okay? Now, hold this band tight, and from here we're going to raise it up and kick the leg out straight. Raise it up and kick it out straight. So if I show you from the side, just so you can see a little bit better, so you raise it up and kick it out straight. Band's tight because you've got it double wrapped around, it's only going to get tighter on the foot, so it's not going to slip off and catch you in the face or anything, okay? Tommy got me tied, we're going to do one minute on that leg and one minute on the other leg. So this is going to push your legs a little bit now, okay? Are you ready? 
Three, two, one. Let's go. Press out, bring it back. Press out, bring it back. Nice and steady. Now don't let it just come back too quick, otherwise don't leave yourself in the face. Don't be doing that either. There we go. Press out, bring it back. Press out, bring it back. That's it. Extending that leg each time. Bring it back in control speed. Just gone past halfway. So we've got another 30 seconds on that leg. That's all 30 seconds. Come on, we can do that on this leg. That's it, guys. Stay focused, stay strong. Really in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it off that foot, and we're going to swap it over, okay? So remember what I said? From here, go down, wrapped around, wrapped around, okay? So you've got a nice double wrap onto that, holding the band tight. So it's one of, it needs to be pulled up, okay? So then when we press out, we are working those quads, all those thighs, and all your cards and everything, all your glutes are all working. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. There we go. 20 times. Make sure we're staying in a straight line, because what happened with this band, it will pull that leg all over the place, okay? We're gonna keep it in a nice straight line. We're we'll doing a single leg press. There we go. Fantastic. Hope we're all getting a bit warm now. I know I am. Heating's on. Should turn that off. Oh, that was a bad mistake. There we go. Come on. 20 seconds. Brilliant. 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. Well done. Okay, take the band off. We'll give your legs a little bit of a breather for the next one. We're going to do a lap pull down. Now, again, you can either do it seated or standing. It depends on what sort of, how you feel. So, you can double the band. You can single the band. It depends on the strength. So, if you're doing it the single way, which is the easier way, you want to make it harder, you can shorten it off. But if you want to make it really hard, you can double it over. Okay, so you just double the tension of the band. So we're going to start from the top and nice and steady together. You're going to pull it down and it's just going to be aligned with the collarbone. Now you've got to keep it close. Okay, so if we're out here, it'll do more of the back muscles at the top. And what I want is from here, we're going to bring it down and bring it straight back up. So it's almost catching your nose on the way down. Okay, so if you've got glasses, make sure they don't get twanged off at this point. Okay, so nice and steady. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Pull it out, bring it down. Take it back up. Bring it out, pull it back down, bring it back up. So we're going down to the collarbone, okay? Down to that collarbone and back up. Staying close to the face as we can. Close to the face. Breathing all the way through. Core engaged all the way through. And don't forget, smile. There we go. Brilliant. That's it, keep it going. Taking it off, bringing it down. So if halfway through you still want to have a bit of a sit down, take a seat, okay? So you can do this part standing up, then part sitting down. You haven't got to do it all or standing or all sitting, it's entirely up to you. Remember, this is your training session, okay? Yours. No one else is. Well done. Come on, we're going to do 10 more seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. Well, oh, that's a good one for the shoulders as well. All right, then. So stand on the bands for me, please. Make sure they're in the middle of the foot. Feet this distance apart. And we're going to do an alternate bicep curl. When I say alternate bicep curl, so we're going to do one arm. And then the other arm. We're going to alternate that move each time, okay? And if you're still using water bottles, you can use your water bottles if you wish. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. 
Excellent. Nice and steady. Brilliant. Bringing it up. Elbows are still pulled into the side. So again, you can be seated or you can be standing. Whatever you want. Tummy tight, slight bend in those knees. That's it. Don't lock your legs out. I know we're using the arms, but don't lock the legs out. Slight bend in those knees all the way through the move. Fantastic. Come on, keep going, keep going. Well done. And we're going to do 15 more seconds. Ready? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Shake it out. Now keep the band where it is and make sure we're going to where the seat is, okay? So we're going to do some sit to stands, but we're going to have the band, okay, as well. So you've got an option. You can bring it up so you're in a bicep position like this. So you're going to sit down and then stand back up. Because the bands are pulling us down, you're going to have a lot more load going through those legs, okay? Are you ready? Now, if you want to drop it down, just do sit to stand. You can do that as well. Are you ready? In three. Two, one, down, back up, down, back up, down, back up, well done, tummy tight, breathing, smile, that's it, so if you want to make it a little bit harder, just gently touch your bum on the seat, up you go, gently touch your bum, up you go, gently, I know. Well done. That's it. Come on, keep going, keep going. I know your legs are burning about now, probably. So we need to make sure that we're still working hard. Come on, let's push, push, push. 15 seconds, please. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Band goes down. Grab yourself a quick drink. Make sure your toes are still moving, guys, okay? Right now, so this time now we're going to use just body weight, okay? We've all got a body. So we're going to do a wall press. Now I'm going to use my covered unit here, okay? So all you're going to do is in. And back. Now, if your feet are closer, then it's an easy move. The further back the feet are, the harder it is. But what you don't want to be doing is taking your feet too far back. It becomes very unsafe, okay? So make sure you've got a good balance. You're not going to slip. So if you're doing it in your slippers at this point, make sure you've got good grips on them, okay? And again, anyone with any uh, uh, chest wounds, anything like that, just make sure that it's not uh, pulling or anything like that on the chest, okay? So hands hit, hit a little bit shoulders apart. Are you ready? Off we go. There we go. Got a bit tongue tied then. That's it. So we're just pressing in and bringing it back. So whilst we're doing this, I'm going to go through a few different options of doing this one. Okay. So we've all got kitchen units. Now, if you if you think about a kitchen unit, it's a little bit lower at the front. Yeah, you put your hands. So that would make that move a little bit harder. The majority of us have got dining tables. They're even lower than a kitchen unit. So that would make it a little bit harder again. So there's ways to make it harder without taking your feet too far back, okay? So you don't need to be taking your feet too far back if you don't need to. That's it. Breathe Nice and steady. That's it. Fantastic. Keep going, keep going. We've got about 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Shake it out. Right, back to the seat. So take a seat. 
And what we're going to do, we're going to step forward with your right foot just slightly, okay? So that means that the back leg, okay, is going to be doing more of the work. So your left leg at this moment is going to be doing more of the work. Are we ready? Tummy tight. Try not to swing yourself all over the place. We're going to do 30, 30, 30, 30. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So it's a split. Sit to stand. So the back leg's the one doing the work. Front leg's there for support. Okay. Tummy stays tight throughout. Well done. Right, as we're coming up, push those hips forward. Allow them to go back on the way down. Forward and back. Nice and smooth. Well done. 10 seconds, I'm going to switch legs in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's switch legs. Okay, ready? Same again. 3, 2, 1. Off we go. Back leg is now doing most of the work. Brilliant. Tummy tight, smiling, breathing, and smiling. Fantastic. Come on, 10 more seconds, then we'll switch legs in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. Ready? Let's go. Straight in this time. Fantastic. Tummy tight. Back legs doing the work. Front legs there for support. Well done. You've got 10 more seconds and we switch legs for the last time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. Off we go. Straight 10. Control it down. Back legs doing the work. Front leg support. There we go. Well done. Well done. That's it. Come on, keep it focused. You can do this, guys. We haven't got many more. We've got about three exercises, then we're going to bring the heart rates down. But for now, we've got three, two, one. Okay. So, we're going to do a half jack. Now, a half jack is that. Okay. That is a half jack. Now, if you want to stay seated, believe it or not, you can do a half jack seated. Okay. So, we've all got covers. We're all reaching up all over the place. So, this is good practice for reaching up and down. Okay. Tommy's nice and tight. One minute's worth of half jacks. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. Just half jack. Remember, you don't have to go right out here if you don't want. You can just do a little step. You don't have to bring your arm all the way up if you don't want. You can just bring it up a little bit. Okay? Remember, work to your abilities. That's it. Try and get into a nice rhythm. Perfect. Fantastic. Well done. Looking good on a cold wintry morning. There we go. Well done. And we're going to do 20 more seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. I'll get you panting a little bit, that will. Right. So take a seat. Now, hands holding onto the side of the seat because I don't want anyone falling off. Feet together and you're going to bring both knees up. Take them down. Both knees up and take them down. Okay? So if you're struggling with both knees, you can do one at a time. Okay? Now this is really good for the lower part of your stomach muscles. So are you ready? In three, two, one. Both knees up. Control it down. Both knees up. Control it down. That's it. Bringing it up. 
rolling it down. Not a fast move. Perfect. Well done, guys. Well done. He's just coming up to halfway. Breathing nice and fluid. And smiling. Because you know you've only got one more exercise left. There we go. Keep going, keep going. Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Well done. Shake it out. Now, again, if you're going to stay seated, so the lower option is this one for this one, and you're going to do foot taps. So if you're more comfortable doing foot taps, or you feel safe to do foot taps, Please, please, please do foot taps, okay? So what we're going to do, if I show you from the side, move my hands out to the way. So stomach nice and tense. That chair is there. You're going to try to touch, touch. Now you haven't got to get to the top all the time. If you just want to just raise it a little bit and just touch the side of the chair, touch the side of the chair. The idea is we're going to do one minute of this, okay? Not fast, no running, nothing like that, but we're going to cool down after, okay? So are you ready? In three... Two, one, just touch, and touch. And all it is, now, your supporting leg, so that's the leg that you're balancing on, that's this leg at this moment, okay? So you're gonna have a slight bend. Don't lock it out. Keep the slight bend in that knee all the way through. Tummy nice and tight, breathing, and guess what I'm gonna say next? Smiling, there we go. Last move. Come on, we're gonna cool down after. That's it. Just touching each time. Nearly there. Very nearly there. That's it. 20 more seconds. I'll count you back. You ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, shake it out, take a seat, grab a drink, still with the toes moving, we're now going to start bringing the heart rate down a little bit, okay, right then, these toes are still wiggling around, let's go for it, just slow, slow, toe taps, okay, slow, extend it out, bring it back, Extend it out, bring it back. Really steady. There we go. Well done. We're going to do the same now to the side. So it's going to go slow, slow. That's it, slow. It's more of a stretch than an exercise at this point. Bringing the heart rate down, so breathing nice and fluid. Nice and steady. That's it. I hope you've all got a little bit warm and a little bit sweaty. That's all that we need. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. So, sitting nice and proud on your seat, roll those shoulders back. Well done. Let's roll them forward. Fantastic. Everyone, give yourselves a big cuddle. I want you to pull your shoulder blades apart. Lick your big squish. That's it. Now let's swap it over. Give yourself a big squish. That's it. Brilliant. Fantastic. Now, place your hands onto the back of that chair. Push your chest forward and lift your head up. Nice, big deep breath in. And slowly let it out. Excellent. Shuffle to the front of your chair again, doesn't matter which leg you do, because we're going to do them both anyway. Take one out, take a nice big stretch up, tip for the hip, we're going to go down towards that extended foot, okay? Down, 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 down. There we go, hold it there. Breathe in, nice and slow, let's bring it up. There we go, never hold your breath on a stretch. Take the other leg out, stretch it up, tip for the hip, tip, 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 tip. 
There we go. Hold it there. You should feel it's all in the back of your leg, okay? So try and keep this leg as straight as we can. So if you bend for the knee, it's not going to work. There we go. Ready? Breathe up. And relax it down. And again, it doesn't matter which one, because we're going to give them both anyway. So pull one leg in, pull it in tight, and bring it up as much as you can. Remember, this is a cool down, okay? Relax it down, and we're going to swap it over. Bring it in the end, pull it in, pull it in. Fantastic. Well done. And relax it down. Right. So we're going to do three nice big breaths. And then we are all then we are all done. Okay. So hands at the side, breathe in, hit the hands up. Exhale, take it down. Breathe in, take it up. Exhale down. And we're gonna do one more time. Breathe in up. Place your hands together at the top, bring them down into a prayer position, and everybody give yourselves about and a round of applause. Well done, guys. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, remember, bands, bottles of water, we don't need massive amounts of German equipment. All we need is just to get moving, okay? So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to all see you all again soon. Thank you. You will do. Thank you very much for a brilliant session, Craig. Take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.